Hey, what's going on guys? This is Justin at wingsound.com. In this mixing tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use subtractive EQ to get rid of any unwanted frequencies within your mix. I'm doing this in Pro Tools 8, but you can utilize this technique within any music production software of your choice. And remember, if you have any questions, comments, or ideas, leave one below the video, or get in touch with me personally, justin at wingsound.com. Okay, so I have a bass track here that I've recorded, and I don't like it. It's not very good. There's a lot of pick attack and clicking of the strings against the fretboard. When the strings vibrate up against the fretboard, it, there's a clicking sound. And I want to get rid of that as best as possible. So I'll play it for you just so you can hear what I'm talking about. So you really hear it here. Okay, so what you want to do is grab an EQ. I'm using the Digi 4 Band EQ. And that clicking sound is in the higher range of the frequencies. So I'm just gonna focus on those. And what you wanna do is make sure you're using a notch EQ, which is this button here, okay? So then what you wanna do is grab the gain knob and boost it all the way up as much as you can. And then, uh, you know, adjust the Q, which is this knob here, so you're not cutting out too many frequencies. So I'm just gonna put it at about there, you know, 5.6. Then, you know, since I'm working in the high frequency range, I'm gonna put it all the way to 20K, and then I'm gonna sweep back, as you can see I'm doing here. So, you know, whatever region you're working in, put it in loop playback, and, you know, just keep sweeping across those frequencies so you can find those bad, annoying, or weird sounds within your audio, and you'll be able to take them out. So I'm gonna play it and sweep through the frequencies. So I find it, you know, kind of prominent within the 9 you know, to 11K range. So I'm going to open up the Q a little bit. And then all you need to do from there, once you find that frequency range that you want to take out, just grab the gain knob and drop it all the way down. Or, you know, you don't have to drop it all the way down. You know, you could do it a little bit just so it doesn't take away too much from whatever audio you're working with. So now I'll play it. Okay, you know, it is still there, but it's not there as bad, which is good. You know, you want to try to eliminate it as best as possible. You know, out in this uh, situation, I would really suggest to just, you know, record the bass or whatever track you're doing over and try to avoid those completely. But, you know, sometimes you don't have that option, so you want to use the subtractive EQ. And you know, once you add all of your other pieces of your mix, you know, the guitars, the drums, the vocals, pianos, whatever it is you're using, you know, those clicks won't be very prominent because all the other sounds will kind of mask it, you know what I'm saying? So you use subtractive EQ, notch EQ, and you know, try to eliminate as much as you can without taking away from your audio. Check out Wingsound on the iTunes store to subscribe to the podcast, listen to some music, and download the free iPhone app that will keep you up to date with all of the latest releases from Wingsound Studios. Just search for Wingsound at the iTunes store.